hear you want to sell colouring and activity books on Amazon KDP and Etsy, correct? You're struggling with how to actually put those kinds of products together. If you are, then you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to use Canva, ChatGPT and a really cool graphical illustration pack to come up with a really nice and unique colouring and activity book for kids that we can go on to sell on all those different platforms. So come along with me and let's see what we make. Oh, and there's an especially funny bit at the end where um, we see, we test out how ChatGPT is at making jokes. So you definitely need to stick around for that bit. Okay, so here we are in my favorite tool at the moment, ChatGPT. Um, since our last video, I've actually come across a really good um, plugin called AIPRM. And what it does is it kind of aggregates um, lots of really popular prompts that people have come up with and that ha they've dabbled around with and, and created. And then it kind of aggregates them all into like a really easy to search prompt kind of list. So um, for instance, if I was uh, trying to get some ideas for YouTube titles or YouTube tags, I might type in YouTube and then it will come up with lots of different uh, kind of options that I can choose regarding uh, YouTube and really, really um, popular prompts that people are using. It also gives you the kind of the number of people that have seen the prompts, um, the number of kind of feedback on it and thumbs up. So it's a really good indicator and a really great help um, when you're trying to streamline the process of, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. So that was just a quick plug for that really good uh, plug in there. But for our um, coloring book and activity book. Let's see, um, let's play around with how we can get some ideas for types of pages that we want to have in our uh, book today. So I am just going to give it some intro. I'm going to give ChatPT some background as to what I do. So I am a uh, digital and printable product creator. I sell my products on Amazon. KDP and Etsy. Do you understand? This is just giving it some background um, knowledge as to who I am and what I do. So it says, yes, I understand that you're a digital and printable product creator who sells your products on Amazon, KDP and Etsy. This means that you create digital files or designs that can be downloaded or printed. See, so it's, it's getting the hang of what it is that I do. And you sell them as products on these platforms. Um, Amazon KDP is a self-publishing platform for books. Yep. While Etsy is an online marketplace. So that is such a really good response that ChatGPT has come back with. And so I know that it has a really firm grasp of what it is we're looking for. As I said before, I got access to a really, really cool set of um, graphic illustrations it will kind of be a springboard to what we create. Um, they're a set of panda illustrations. And so let's, uh, let's get some ideas of kind of different activity pages that we could create with these panda illustrations. I have a set of 30 black and white panda illustrations aimed at kids. I would like to put together an activity and colouring book using these illustrations. Do you understand? So again, giving it some more background, which will hopefully allow it to come back with exactly what we need. So it says, yes, I understand that you have a set of 30 black and white panda illustrations aimed at kids, and that you would like to use them in an activity and colouring book. Um, and then it goes on to tell us what activity and colouring books mean, um, what they are, kind of the, the things that they include, like mazes, puzzles, and games. So this is really great. And then by using your panda illustrations, you can create a book that is engaging and fun for children. Exactly, that's what we're trying to do. Um, we want something that's gonna look really great and is gonna sell well for us. So moving on. Um, I would, okay, so what did I say before? I said um, I would like to put together an activity book, so please give me some activity page ideas for this book. Um, I might actually want to give it s some more in-depth uh, ideas. So I, I would like this activity book to have a range of activities, maybe some maths-based activities, maybe some reading-based activities. It's going to be aimed at children under the age of about six. So let's give it some more background. I just realised I spelled activity wrong. <laughs> okay, so please give me some activity page ideas for this book. It is aimed at kids under six years old, years 
old and needs to have activities which help um, the child to improve um, reading and maths skills. Uh, please give me some. OK, so let's let's see what it comes back with now. OK, sure. Here is some activity page ideas for your active in activity and colouring book that are aimed at children under six years old and can help them improve their reading and math skills. So we've got panda colouring page with numbers. Create a colouring page featuring pandas and numbers and ask kids to colour the pandas according to the corresponding number. That's excellent. That's such a good one. Um, connect the dots. Um, so create connect the dots and ask kids to connect the dots in the correct order to reveal the hidden image. Um, a matching game. Create a matching game featuring different objects such as fruits or animals and ask kids to match uh, the objects up the same. So this is so, this is amazing. This is so exciting. Um, and I really love the way that it has come up with ideas and then given us um, some backgrounds and some in-depth details to how to put those book, those actual pages together. And it's included the fact that it is aimed at it's using illustrations that are panda based. So at the end, it says these activities can be adjusted to be age appropriate and to meet your specific goals. And it's given me a good luck. That's so sweet. OK, well, I actually want some more activity page ideas. So um, I'm going to just great. Please give me 10 more um, similar activity page ideas. So from this kind of in-depth list of activity page ideas, we are only going to, for this video, for the sake of time, we're only going to put together five. Um, but the great thing is, is that I'm going to give you access to this template that I um, put together in case you just kind of want access to it rather than having to follow along and do it with me. So be sure to check the description for access to this template. But as I said, we're just going to do, we're going to do five today. Otherwise, this video might go on a bit long and I kind of want you to be able to get through the video. Um, in future videos, I will definitely be doing, showing you other kind of activity book ideas. And yeah, so do stay tuned and keep checking back. For updates. So we've got colour by numbers, again dot to dot, memory games, spot the odd one out, find the difference, panda shapes, colouring book story, alphabet match. Okay, so from here I'm just going to choose five and we will move on into Canva. Okay, so here we are in Canva and I've made just a short list of the different pages we're going to do today. I actually came up with a couple of extra ideas as well. Um, we've got panda bear jokes and panda bear facts and I thought it would be really cool to see what ChatGPT could come up with when, with regards to that. So what facts it could we could put into our book and also what jokes uh, that I think that might be funny to uh, see if it comes up with any really good jokes that are aimed at kids. So let's dive in. So we've got panda maze. Uh, create a maze featuring a panda and ask kids to navigate the maze to help the panda find its way home. So as you can see on the left, these are the cute panda designs that um, we are going to be using. And as you can see, there's different pandas in various different um, poses and kind of different scenes wearing different outfits. Uh, this pack actually comes with full color graphics as well. But since we are going to be using this for Amazon KDP books, we kind of want to make sure that they are black and white. Otherwise, we will get charged more and we'll, that will affect our royalties. So our first, first page is Panda Maze. Create a maze featuring a panda and ask kids to navigate the maze to help the panda find its way home. So I think that's quite self-explanatory. Let's click. Uh, so first I would click T for text and um, this will just be our title of our page. So that'll be uh, maze and then I'll copy and paste that again and it will just be the instruction help the cute panda to find its way home. Um, I might do something extra. Um, this uh, cute panda is lost and needs your help. Help. Um, actually, we'll ask a question. Will, uh, will you help the panda to find its way home? Question mark. So I'm going to make this smaller. Like I said, this template will be available at the end, um, but if you fancy it, you can uh, follow along with me. Let's center that up. Okay, so now we're going to look for some elements. Uh, it's going to be a maze. I had already typed in maze. We're using the, I'm just choosing the free elements because um, it's it's just better to be safe when we are using it for um, places such as Amazon KDP. Um, something more interesting here. Let's choose our pandas again. 
Okay, and this panda, uh, we'll choose this cute one here. So we can put that there. Actually, we'll make it smaller, a lot smaller. Um, we will angle the maze so that it looks like it's about to come in. That's where it needs to walk in. Or maybe we might put the maze in the middle. I mean, put the panda in the middle of the maze. It kind of depends on, on what you kind of want to do. In actual fact, I'll put it here. Um, and then we'll put the home. We'll find a, a nice home illustration in black and white. Use that one. And so they have to then make their way through the maze. Um, I will also put some arrows here just to let the child know that that's where they're starting and that's where they need to end. So let's put a little arrow there and then copy and paste an identical arrow, make it a bit smaller. Okay, what we could also do is because it's all black and white, we could let the child, so instruct the um, child to then color in the panda and the, um, the house illustration. And that gives them something extra to do. So when you have finished, color in the panda and the, and its home. So we could put that, we could put it here. Um, yeah, we can put it there. Also, I, well, we can change the font, um, the fonts to something more kiddie friendly, but we'll do that afterwards. So this is one really easy page that we've made and we can just basically do the same thing. We could make another maze page um, with a different prompt, with a different illustration of a panda. It might be uh, help the panda to uh, find its lost shoe or something like that. And so we'd have a different maze in there. We'd have a different panda and maybe just a picture of a shoe. Uh, so yeah, you could really have some fun with that. And uh, could you could actually create a whole book of mazes um, with the 30 different illustrations that are provided. So moving on from panda coloring page with numbers. So this is one of our maths themed uh, pages. So let's take the title here and then copy and paste it down here just so that it's uh, the titles are always in the same place. Uh, so what title will we put here? Color uh, the pandas. Oops, color the pandas, uh, would it be? So, and then our instruction, let's take again that instruction from the top, make sure that it's centered and in the same place. Um, color the right number of of pandas, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Color the right number of pandas. So now what we're gonna probably do is we're gonna make a kind of a series of boxes or a table um, that we can put the number in and then and add the panda illustrations that the child can then match them up and color the right ones. So, okay, so I am going to find a line. We're gonna to put together a, um, a kind of table grid. So I've clicked L for line, turned it to black and we can make this a bit thicker, the line weight. Maybe we'll try six. All right, and then we will pull this ac across, bearing in mind the kind of border. I think I've got a couple more here. That... Okay, and then we'll copy and paste that, and then we will copy those again, bring it down, make sure that it is equal sizing, and then we can do it again, making sure, copy another one of these lines, turn it, Make sure that it is straight, pull it to the end, make sure that it all lines up. Sometimes it can be a bit fiddly, so I will zoom in a bit more just so that I can get the detail, make that a bit shorter. It's not exactly perfect, but it will do because I don't want this to go on for too long. And so again, we will copy and paste that, bring it across to this side, and then we I think we need one more line so that we can kind of have a box that we'll put our numbers in. So there we go. So this is our table. So what we're going to do now is we will put different numbers in each one of these one, two, three, four, five boxes. So again, let's press text. Um, the first number, because we've got five, we'll start, we can start with five. Put that there, copy, paste it. We'll put three there, copy and paste. Oops, copy, paste here. We'll put two there, paste again. We'll put uh, four there and paste again and we can put one here so now we now we all, all we need to do is put our illustrations of our pandas so we've used what one did we use we use one uh holding a basket so let's make sure we get through and use as many of these panda illustrations as we can so because they are so cute so in each of these uh spaces we're going to have five um different pandas and then the child will then color in 
the number of pandas according to the number here. So we'll put one, two, and then we'll copy and paste that just so the spacing is right. And then we just need one more to go here. All right, so which one should we choose next? We can choose this one with a nice cute hat on. So sometimes to make sure that I've got them kind of the right sizing, I will superimpose one on top of the other just to know that, just so that I've got, you know, equal, equal sizing there. So I'll move that up slightly, copy, paste, make sure that the lines, that's all. And then I will copy and paste these across, copy and paste that. So as you can see, you probably understand what I'm doing right now. So I am just going to fast forward to the end of this page. So I went ahead and finished this up, um, but this is what it looks like now. Really neat, really nice. Um, and so the child will, you know, for this one, they were colour in five, for this one would colour in two, four, three, and one. And this is a really great maths activity exercise that, um, you know, a young child would be able to do. And it includes colouring as well, which is great. So moving on, what was the next one we had? We have counting games. So this is another maths um, activity. So it says, create a game that asks kids to count the number of objects on a page, such as how many pandas, apples, or balloons they can find. So let's go ahead and do this. This one's gonna be quite straightforward, I would think as well. So again, I've copied the title just to make sure it's in the right place. And then also the subtitle. So for this one, we might change the title to count and color the pandas. So let's make that a bit smaller. Um, count and colored pandas. So we just arrange um, lots of different pandas on the page, but we might mix it up and add some other elements and other illustrations onto the page, obviously using the free free elements that Canva comes, comes along with. And then we'll put like a box that the child can then write the number in. So let's go ahead and add some cute pandas there now. So we'll just arrange them on the page. You could do them different sizes, some big, some small, some really tiny just making sure that it's within the border. So this is a really, really nice way to use these unique illustrations to make a really different and creative book for young children. I'm gonna be testing this out on my daughter. Um, she is six, so hopefully she'll give it the thumbs up. Okay, so we've got some pandas arranged on our page. So let's add some extra stuff now. Um, let's look and see if there are any other animals that are again in black and white. Oh, this is nice. Sometimes when you choose a particular element, it will then come up and show you all the other different elements that are in the same kind of style. So, but I actually don't want to see, see animals. We kind of want like maybe zoo animals, zoo animals. So I did some digging and I found a cute set of um, zoo animals that we can use on this page. That's the thing about Canva there. It has so much that you can find and you can really get lost in just everything that it offers. So I'm just gonna arrange some of these on here on the page. Got a lovely elephant there, move that along. Okay, one more, uh, this lovely peacock, make it a bit smaller. Okay, so what we'll probably do now is put a little box, um, a square, oops, at the bottom. Let's make it black and we will, it will be there, that's where the child, and then we'll copy and paste that how many pandas did you count? Make that smaller, um, make sure that's within the border. All right, so that's our next page here. That was really easy um, and it's gonna be a really engaging uh, page for those kids. N moving on, we have a fill in the blank, blank page that we're gonna do. Create a page with a sentence that is missing a word and ask kids to fill in the blank with the correct word. So we could actually use, um, ChatGPT to do this. So let's see what it comes back with. Please give me five panda themed fill in the bank sentences that I can use for this activity book. So let's see what it comes back with. Pandas eat something for most of the diet. A baby panda is called A. Pandas have six something and a thumb like extension that helps them grasp bamboo. A group of pandas is called A. Pandas are native too. So what we could do if it's a book for a six-year-old or under, then some of these words might be a bit difficult. So let's see if um, I'm gonna ask it to rewrite. Please rewrite these sentences aimed at a four-year-old. Okay, pandas like to eat lots of. A baby panda is A. 
pandas have six and a special thumb to help them hold bamboo. A group of cat pandas is called A. Pandas come from. Okay, so I am now showing my ignorance here because some of these questions I can't even, I don't even know the answers to. So please give me the answer to these questions. Please forgive me. I apologize. Okay, so please give me the answers to the five fill in the blank uh, sentences above. Sure, here are the answers. So pandas eat bamboo. A baby panda is called a pup, cub. I should have known that, goodness me. Pandas have six fingers and a thumb-like extension. It helps them grasp bamboo. A group of pand pandas is called a colony. I didn't know that. Um, so great, let's use these in our next page. So again, we will use, take that title and now fill in the blank. Fill in the blanks. So pandas like to eat. Pandas like to eat lots of. You can make that a bit bigger, I guess. Make the line, okay, and then we'll copy and paste this line and then we'll do another two, so it's all five. Okay, go back to ChatGPT, copy and paste that. Go back, get the next one. This is just so copy and paste simple. This is great, this makes my day. And I'm learning something. A group of pandas is called a colony. I'm not gonna forget that. And then the last one, pandas come from. China. Okay. Let's make this line a bit longer. Let's make this line. Okay. And then we will have, we'll move these up a bit and then we will have an answer, uh, like an answer key. Uh, so it would be pandas like to eat lots of bamboo. So this will give the child the options that they can choose. So let me make sure that this is within. Yep. Okay. Um, so maybe panda is a cub. Oops. Let me put that there. Um, pandas have six, was it thumbs? No, really, was it? I didn't read that. Six fingers. <laughs> six fingers and a thumb-like extension. So pandas have six fingers. Six fingers. Six fingers. <laughs> six thumbs, goodness. Um, group of pandas called colony. So let's put colony there. And pandas come from China. So there we are. See how easy that was to make another really, um, really unique activity page. So that's great. We might want to put some panda pictures here on this page. So actually what we'll do is we'll make this all a bit smaller. So we'll select it all, make it smaller. I'll group it and then we will just add a cute panda there and then maybe another cute panda on the other side. Make sure they're roughly the same size. Yep. Okay. So that's our fourth page, moving on, um, some panda bear jokes and facts. So we'll actually put those on the same page. Panda bear jokes and facts. And we'll say fun facts. So again, let's go over to chat GPT. Please give me three funny and original jokes on the topic of panda bears. Please give me three fun facts. Please also, please also give me three fun facts about, oops, about panda bears. Okay, so I've asked it to give me three funny and original jokes and three fun facts. Let's see what it comes back with. I'm quite interested to see the type of jokes it comes back with. It's thinking. All right, here we go. While it's making those uh, fun facts and jokes, let's just arrange this page. So we will put a different illustration here. Um, we'll use this one and we can use this one. So we're just sprinkling these really nice illustrations throughout our book. Okay. So let's see. Okay. It's still going. <laughs> so three original jokes. Why did the panda bear bring a ladder to the bamboo forest to reach the higher bites? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> what do you call a panda bear who's always tired? A snooze bear. Oh, I don't know about these ones. How do panda bears like their music? Bamboo lances. Bamboo lances. Oh, wow. Okay, so not sure how good ChatGPT is to tell jokes, but we can ask it to give up, to, to have another try. Let's uh, give us a couple more jokes because I don't know if they were very funny. What do you think? Okay, please give 
me three more funny panda bear jokes. Okay, so we've got three more panda bear jokes here. Um, what do you call a panda bear who's a great dancer? Bamboogie. Okay, uh, we can we can deal with that one. Um, how do you know if a panda bear has been in your garden? The bamboo is gone and there's a big sleepy bear taking a nap. Okay, obviously. Uh, and lastly, what do you call a group of panda bears who love to sing? A bamboo choir. Okay, that, I mean, we can we can deal with, we can use this one and this one. Um, and then we will use these facts here. Obviously, for the sake of the length of this video, I would definitely go through and fact find and make sure that these, these facts actually are true. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna take them as they are. Just demonstrating how, how easy ChatGPT has made it for us. And also there's these ready-made illustrations that are unique. And that mean that we will be less likely to be flagged on Amazon for duplicate content or anything like that. Cause that's always, you know, a worry when you are putting together coloring books, activity books and things and where people are using the same illustrations um, you know, it can then, you can come a cropper if everyone's using the same thing. And then let's, so, okay, so this is our fun, uh, fun facts and jokes page. Um, obviously I would jazz this all up a bit more. I might put some kind of different kind of elements around the, around the edges and things like that. Um, but for, I mean, it's taken us all but half an hour. And the great thing about these templates, and this is from, you know, from idea, to actually putting an end product together. It's taken half an hour. Once, maybe it'd be another half an hour to finish the rest of the pages and then to get uh, the cover made. But once you've made this, this template can then be used for so many different other kind of niche coloring and activity books. This one's basically based around pandas, but we might do a unicorn themed one. We could use this template to make um, a horsey themed one or a, um, a shark themed uh, coloring and activity uh, book. So as you can see, now these, we could use these, all we'd need to do is just replace all of these illustrations with different illustrations, with different graphics, and we have a whole new unique book. So as I said before, um, this template is being made available to you. It's in Canva. You can use it in the free, free version of Canva. It won't have these illustrations, but if you click the link below, you can be taken straight through to where I got these illustrations from, and you can decide if it's something that you'd like um, for your own kind of content library. This video has actually been quite a long one, but I really hope that you appreciate the depth that I've gone into um, with, you know, the behind the scenes, putting things together and then having that template for you to use for free if you don't want to follow along in the way that I've been doing it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've gotten a lot out of it and until the next time, all the best.